again, as we'll look at how this rotational swing still gives us a linear direction with the ball, just like it does when we throw the ball. Our hand is moving in this arcing around about action, and then as the palm squares up, the ball is released from the hand, and then there's a follow through. Well, the same thing with tennis. The racket is doing some sort of arc. Some people have less of an arc or swing around, but it's not certainly a rot not a round circular motion, but it's a uppercut kind of motion, an arcing motion, low to high in a rotational manner. And in the process, the ball intersects that swing path. And if the angle is right, we get the correct shot. Uh, but anyway, it's the timing of the intersection of the ball and this rotational swing path that gives us the linear direction. And this is contrary to what most common sense people believe, which is in order for me to get the ball there, I need to line up the racket behind and move the racket through in a straight path. Yes, you can do that for a very slow shot. In fact, we sort of do that with a volley, even though even in the volley swing path, we have a from an outside in kind of swing path. Not, But if we were blocking a shot, we might just move the racket forward in a straight manner. We have no power, but yeah, we can direct the ball that way but it's not the way we, for a high level topspin shot should be hit. We want to incorporate this rotational whipping model and work on our timing to release the ball in the right direction. To demonstrate all this, I'm uh, here throwing sidearm at uh, filming at 300 frames per second. First time just passing through so you can see the complete motion. And then we'll uh, start it again here in a second and we will get to the critical moment of release and we'll pause and you'll see that the ball is releasing as my palm starts to square towards the target and I don't have to do anything it's automatic the ball just starts to come out of the hand towards the target here's a close-up version of that just as the palm has turned and faced but notice that the arm continues around in the rotational action after the ball has been directed to the target. We see the same rotational dynamic in play on the swing with a take back out of alignment with the incoming ball, much like Nick Kyrgios, and uh, coming around to the ball will freeze frame at contact. And you can see again the palm is now facing the opponent and the ball is released from the racket. Uh, nothing has to be done and then the rack continues in its rotating path. And just to ensure that we're seeing this clearly, here's me throwing from the front position at 600 frames per second, again, underhand. And uh, we'll go through this a couple times so you see the flow of the underhand motion and the release of the ball as the palm starts to square towards the target. Here we're watching the swing from the front, and this is just the beginning of the racket coming into the contact area with the ball. You can see as it squares up, the palm squares up with the racket in the hand. The ball is sent directly towards the camera in a linear way, but the racket continues to rotate around, so the same phenomenon.